Hello guys, good day, I'm back again for another tutorial. So this is HBT tutorial for your basic installation, setup, and configuration for BG Dial. So for today, uh, our video is all about how to change and modify the SSH port on your BG Dial server. So from the del uh, from, from the default port, we will change it to another uh, ports or number. So because we have some requests on our latest video upload so one per we have one subscriber who requests to how to on how to change i bro uh they said here how to change ssh port in which dial so uh we will do a video today on how to change that okay so for today uh so we need to go back and access our BG dial page so uh, we need to go to footy again to access our BG dial server so first of all so our default port right now is 22 so we will change this to something other port okay so we need to open the server okay so I will show it on how to change okay changing fourth of the ssh is for security purposes so that you you will not uh, attack by ssh attacker so for this uh, security purposes from your server so let us see how many because me i'm using the default port so yeah there is no here because sometimes you will see here somehow many feed logins have been uh, uh, trying to access your server okay so so for now we have if you check your yes firewall so, because this is the important if you when you changing the port of your bg dial so uh, okay so from here what the i need to go to the public okay so here this is the allow uh, service on our firewall the apache apache 2 means this is the http or the port 80 apache dash 2 ssl it this is will be the port for port 3 or the https asterisk is will be the port 5060 and uh, the port dgp RTP for your media or the voice and SSH is the SSH uh, it should be on port 22 okay I just abort this one I just I only show you the uh, allow okay and then to double check you need to go to the firewall CMD hyphen hyphen and then type please hyphen all okay so this is the allow right now allow services is the same target uh public and target is with default and interface it is one okay before you changing the port of your ssh you need uh you need to disable the firewall or uh you need to add first the port on the uh, firewall so that uh you can able to access again your uh server once you change the port okay so to add uh, to add uh, other port on the firewall you can type firewall the cmd permanent hyphen hyphen add then port and then for example I will use port uh, from two from 22 this is the original port from the SSH I will add 77 so 7 triple 77 or I don't want that uh, maybe uh, 8822 maybe 88822 so this is the port right now so this is the new port i will assign to my ssh okay and then slash 
TCP. It means uh, for the TCP port only. So firewall CMD, IPN, IPN permanent, space, IPN, IPN add, IPN port equals 888.222 slash TCP. So this is the new port now. Okay. So okay say it's invalid so maybe we need to uh, change to 444 okay so now it's success so you need to reload your firewall now so firewall cmd ipen ipen reload okay so as you can see this is the issue on firewall so we will fix this issue later maybe so the firewall was not reload so you need to cancel that one control c or control z so you need to service firewall d stop because we need to forcefully stop the firewall okay again so as you can see firewall service dynamic demo is deactivating so SSL set ignoring okay so we need to uh, we need to start if we I, if we use the yes firewall again to activate the H stop you will see here the firewall D let me check that the firewall D here yeah. this one so we can kill this one by F9 ok kill see kill and also this one so if you see I just disabled the firewall because they have some issue on her but that the okay but that you need to add person the, once you enable the SSA at least your new port has been added so this is our new port now the 4442 so to update that let's clear so you need to go to nano slash h ssh and then ssh d ssh d then config so you need to uncomment this port okay uncomment this one and then what are the new port again we added is 4442 so okay 4442 okay so enter then exit and then service sshd restart so we will we will now be disconnected on our ssh okay start if I try to uh, duplicate the session I'm not able to log in again on my SSH so what you need to do now you will use your uh, new fork so let's check that session and then our IP okay then new port this will be one Four 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 two. If you open this one, let's check. So I think SSH is not yet restarted. So we need to double check service SSH. Uh, let's restart 
reduce if I stop then start again so as you can see here our listening port is already 4422 from our SSH so the new port has been updated so we need to verify again okay so new session get our IP okay so 4444 I think this is a bug on the open zoo we need to double check why yep you can see here our port, our port is already uh, if I duplicate my thing I can be able to log in so okay so to do that you need to restart the server much better you need to restart but you need to double check because if you restart now uh, you need to double check your firewall okay public so from here it much better you have the firewall here so this is the port that we had it on our firewall and then we do the reboot okay so okay then we need to wait if our port has been updated with new port of 4442 okay If I restart the session, I can I will not able to reconnect again. So we need to make a new session and then four 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 two. Uh, IP is one five four fifty three forty eight at thirteen, and then four 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 two two two. Okay, so we need to wait a few minutes once our server is started. Okay. Okay, so let's try uh, if I were able to access the our, for example, I will restart this session. As you can see, I cannot, I'm not able to access the uh, SSH using the default port 22 and now we will use the port 2222, 4422 and then open. Okay, so as you can see, we are now able to access our wiki dial on putty using the new port okay so to check service page sshd is status so this is our new port now okay And then service if we check our firewall firewall cmd list all check okay as you can see we have the port there and okay so as uh, so we have successfully changed our port from ring uh, default port of 22 to new port port 222 uh, 44422 so uh, this will be I will remind you again uh, when you're changing the port and when you're using the BC box BC box 10 first you need to change the port or you need to disable the firewall or you need to add first the port on the firewall and then change the port on the SSH okay because as you can see we have an error or something bug on this 
which is box 10 on the firewall T. So I will we will try to fix that uh, on an on next video when uh, maybe we need to reinstall the whole firewall and uh, update or update the server maybe okay so once again this is hbt tutorial so don't forget to give some like if you like this video don't forget to like share and click the subscribe button if you are not yet our subscribers so uh, and also click the notification bell so that you always updated on our latest video and once again thank you for subscribing our channel and following and don't forget to give them a like okay guys thank you once again this is hbt tutorial for your basic setup installation and configuration for beachy dial thank you guys and have a nice day again bye bye